guys, how's it going? And welcome to this Burton Albion vs Sunderland match preview. Uh, so the Brewers played in midweek away at Griffin Park and they came back with a point. Uh, we went behind, uh, I think it was around the 55th minute, uh, but Ben Turner uh, pulled uh, a goal back uh, with another header uh, 78 minutes in after a cross from Joe Sabara. And uh, that's how it ended 1-1. Uh, quite a decent result actually, considering how... Um, how much we've struggled recently um, but we've struggled more at home than we have away and now we return to the Premier League uh, for the visit of Sunderland like I say so um, Sunderland have not been doing well this season they have uh, underperformed massively a lot of people could argue and they currently sit bottom of the championship as this is a really big chance for us to actually go out and grab all three points and try and kickstart our home form this season, which has been very, very poor. Uh, getting, I think it's something like seven points uh, out of all of our games. Uh, but for the team news, uh, for the Brewers, Lloyd Dyer is going to miss out almost certainly after picking up hamstring injury against Sheffield United last Friday. Um, uh, and he also missed the midweek draw, obviously, to Brentford. John Brentford is making progress on recovering uh, from his hamstring injury. Uh, but he is also going to miss out. Uh, Joe Mason could return. Uh, he's going to be assessed uh, probably later today uh, after a back injury. Uh, and it's hoped that he will be involved for the first time. Uh, and as we look for a first home win, sorry, in just over two months. Uh, so Chris Coleman, uh, obviously ex-Wales manager, uh, left the Wales job to uh, join Sunderland in his first match. I was in a loss at Villa Park for the Black Cats. Uh, but he expects Duncan Watmore to miss the rest of the season after he underwent knee surgery. Uh, he uh, suffered the injury in last week's uh, home draw with Millwall for the Black Cats. And uh, he's the late, it's the latest setback for the 22-year-old who missed the last six months of the 16-17 season and the start of this campaign. Uh, so he's quite an injury prone man, Duncan Watmore. And unfortunately, he's out again for Sunderland. Uh, Didier Ndong is also unavailable due to a knee problem, and Mark Wilson is out with a calf injury. Uh, but Lee Catamore could be back in contention after serving a one match ban. Uh, Paddy McNair was rested for the trip to Aston Villa in midweek and should probably return into the Sunderland side that will face the Brewers. So, like I say, um, we do still have a lot of players missing out of our team. We've got, you know, Lloyd Dyer's not going to be there probably. Neither is John Brayford, Liam Boyce, still out until around February. But I am feeling quietly confident in this one, you know. Um, obviously, Sunderland, as I said, have really been struggling lately. And uh, we have actually picked four points up in our last three matches, which... Um, you know, it's we average just over one point a game, which is all right actually. You know, if we keep going like that for the rest of the season, chances are we are going to stay up. Um, and like I say, I'm going to make my score prediction now, and uh, could be a bit controversial, but I'm going to go with Burton Albion two, Sunderland one. I think we'll grab our third home win of the campaign um, against uh, the team from up north. And um, I reckon that I think Jamie Allen is due a goal, definitely. Um, and I've also got a feeling that Sh Sean Scannell, he hasn't done great for us re um, since he signed. But I think if we get a win, it'll be a really good chance for him to start performing consistently. Um, and I do actually think he'll uh, get a goal. Um, but like I said, I think we'll concede uh, to Sunderland. Uh, but just the once. So, yeah. Thank you very much. For, oh, sorry. I will be going to the Sunderland game, of course, as it is a home match on Saturday. And the video will probably be out. Um, it's probably going to be sometime late tomorrow night. Uh, well, I'll say late. Probably uh, 7 o'clock. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Also, I uploaded a compilation in midweek. 
Uh, so I'm going to be trying to do that now. Uh, if there's a midweek game, or well, if there's nothing going on in midweek or a midweek game that I can't go to, um, I'm probably going to try and upload something along the lines of a compilation. Uh, so if you want any players, matches, things like that, uh, recommendations for com uh, compilations, please drop them in the comments below. And also let me know your score predictions down below. So thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.